Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome to video number 8 of PLR Powerhouse, which is called Creating Pages Part 1. And now, in this section of the video course, we're going to be dealing with uh, setting up the pages of your mini site, setting up the pages of your funnel. So, that's going to be split into two parts so that uh, you can better understand the way the website, web, website and web page design works. We're going to go over that right now. So if you've never designed a web page before, there's no need to be uh, nervous. It's actually quite a simple process when you when you see the way it's done. So let's go ahead and get started on this. So I'm sure you recognize this diagram by now. Uh, this is a PLR product funnel. And the two pages, web pages of that funnel is what we're going to be focused on in these next couple of videos. We're going to discuss the squeeze page for your free niche report, and we're also going to talk about how to set up the sales page for your paid product. But those are the two most important pages of the site by far because the squeeze page is where you capture your leads and your emails, and the sales page is where you, you sell your paid product to them. So both of them are very necessary, and they have to be operating correctly. So we'll go over how to do that. And that's not all, by the way. In addition to the squeeze page and the sales page, we're going to be uh, setting up quite a few pages of the mini site, uh, such as the squeeze, the subscriber confirmation page, the niche report download page, uh, the sales page, which is uh, the second most important to the squeeze. We'll also be uh, inserting the terms and conditions pages, privacy policy pages, disclaimer pages, and the paid product download. Now all of these are important and you need to have them all running correctly for your mini site to be fully functioning and running on autopilot. Again, we're, that's what we're going to be doing so there's no need to be nervous. I'll take you through the steps of creating each and every one of those pages. So let's go ahead and start discussing page setup, especially the squeeze and the sales pages for your PLR product funnel. There are several aspects to doing so, so we're going to go through them and ensure that we have the correct mindset and tools, by the way, for completing this task. So what needs to be done for the squeeze page in particular is we're in, to set up the squeeze page, we're going to add the proper content, the graphics, we're going to set up the template. We're also going to set up an autosponder in future videos. We're going to create the lead capture form and add it to the page set up the download link of the, on the page and then upload it to server. Now, a page setup revolves around a few things. To start, you need to get your files working properly, get your files in order, because when you're creating and hosting a site on your own, like we're going to be doing with HostGator, you need to have your files located in constant folders to upload to your server each time. Anything else will lead to your confusion and eventually it might lead to missing data which we do not want. So let's go ahead and make sure that we do it the first time, we do it the correct way. So we're going to have an images folder that contains all the images. You have your niche report slash lead magnet ready to go. And if it's multiple files, you're going to have it zipped up because a zip folder, a compressed zip folder is a smaller file size and a lot quicker to upload to your server. In addition, the web page will also be saved to your folder. Let's go ahead and look at how the folder is organized. Just a moment. And here we are. So this is where we're going to be saving the index folder and all the templates uh, right next to the images. So we're going to worry about creating the squeeze page itself next. And for this, we need an HTML editor in which you can edit the pages successfully. Uh, these HTML editors are also commonly called 
uh, what you see is what you get WYSIWYG editors so the best one of those that I know to use is called composer to save you the time of trying to search for the proper HTML editor I'll just say compose is free it's fast it's easy to use so let's go ahead and get that set up right now so if you go to google.com same as always composer and there you are here's a composer website the interface is simple it's fast and it's quick it's free for us uh, so go ahead download it install it just as normal uh, nothing there's nothing unusual or tricky about the installation so just go ahead and get that done again composer is one of those what you see is what you get HTML editors in other words you don't have to worry about uh, you know coding and like writing the HTML tags uh, it's all graphical so just worry about the graphics and images and write the text that you write composer will take care of the whole coding uh, side of the operation so these editors are really fast to use all you need to do is just create the web page with uh, graphically you don't have to worry about the code or need to know much about the code now let's open composer and go through how to build a basic web page so uh, let's just go to composer let's start up the program run it here we are now uh, usually this tips window pops up just click close. So let's go through uh, the aspects of Composer. Like again, we're going to be creating this web page graphically. There's no code needed in uh, in this. Now you'll notice that Composer uh, interface it has four tags on the bottom: the normal tag, HTML tags, which uh, were the if you're a code uh, if you're a code fan, a fan of coding, and you know the way code works, you can come here and see the way the program writes the code for you the source as well I'm sorry I, I meant to say that this is where the code is written in the source panel and there's the preview tag as well so for for people like uh, me who are mainly novices with HTML and perhaps these, you as well I'd recommend just sticking to the normal tab it'll take care of everything for you and you can uh, do your work in here. So let's go ahead and start building a web page from scratch. Now, for those of you who uh, did not receive a PLR product with uh, web pages and uh, with fully coded web pages that you can already modify and edit, you can uh, build a page from scratch. I'll just go through the basics of how to do that. However, what I'm going to be doing is editing the pages that came as part of the course. So, in when we come back, we're going to start uh, working with Composer, and I'll show you how to get your basic web page set up. Okay, so first things first, open up Composer if you haven't done so already. The first thing you want to do is insert a table. Uh, you have three options here. It says quickly, precisely, and sell. It's going to be a one by one table. That's all you need. Depending on the width of your images, uh, you'll have to determine on whether how wide you want your uh, width to be. Because if you have a pretty uh, wide header, you want to have an even wider table width. So my header is actually uh, fairly modest. It's not that long. It's not that wide. So I'm going to select a width of 18 of 800 pixels. Sorry and pixels not percent of window now for the cell area let's say a cell spacing and cell padding you want zero for both of those values and then click OK and presto you have a table now the next thing that you need to do is double click that table uh, and look in the section right here where it says content alignment 
vertical is going to be to the middle make sure horizontal is to the center again click OK and that's the basic gist of it now it's time to start adding images for your from your uh, mini site so I'll click image it'll say image properties find the image location let's go to my place go to your image folder uh, and let's select that header click open click don't use alternate text and say OK now you'll notice it's aligned and it looks just fine so there's that now the time has come after that to add that footer as well so double click so we, the cursor is outside of the header box then go to insert image oh, sorry. Okay, and then click press the down button if you haven't done so already. That gets you outside the table. Now click insert image. Click the folder there, and now let's drop in that footer. Don't use alternate text. Select OK. There you go. Now center it. And all right, so. After that, you're on, well on your way to creating the web page. Now, the next thing that you need to do is first make sure that these two are lined up, which I'm I'm going to make sure that they're lined up like this. Drag the table over to the correct width. Okay. Now, once you've done that, it's time to start adding the content. And the way you do that is you add the content as a background. But first before you do anything I'd say save this so click save as index select OK and just click save in your file folder and that's taken care of now you want to add your content as a background it can't be a uh, it cannot be a graphic that you're adding so what you do is you go to the CSS section I'm sorry click in here first once you're in, your cursor is inside the table, CSS, you have to collect, create a new style rule and you call it that content. Create, create a style rule. Now select that and go to background. And then you can uh, select a background image and insert it within there. Uh, so it depends on if you have. A background image as well if you want to insert in there. If you don't, you can just uh, click out of that and just start typing in text and content. Like so. PLR video payday ETC. So you can select that, uh, make the font bigger. You can change the color of it, make it bold, and so on and so forth. So that's the way you uh, start setting up a web page from scratch. Now, for folks like us who do have a web page in their within their PLR products already, that makes things a lot easier. What we're just going to be doing is modifying that. So let's uh, go ahead and get started with modifying our pages if we already have them. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on building the first three pages of the site, which are the index page. I've showed you already how to create a basic index page, but uh, we're going to be uh, using the pre-existing template as part of the PLR product that I bought. We'll also be uh, working on a confirmation page, which is a subscriber thank you page, which is what they see right after they uh, sign in, they sign up their name and their email into your email list. And we're going to be creating the free download page, which is uh, the page where people download the free niche report. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to open up Composer a second time. Click Run. Close that. 
Uh, so let's open up the page. Open up file. So let's start with the squeeze page. Here's the squeeze index. And this was a existing page in my PLR product. Now let's start chopping things up by pressing backspace to delete the image and replacing them with my own images. You'll be doing the same with your own uh, site of course as well. So what I do is I like say don't use alternate text. Okay. In. Now cut that out. Insert the image. With a headline. Okay. So it's pretty simple stuff. I'm going to chop this out and put in the lead magnet. Chop that out. Put in the footer. Now, uh, if the tiling cascading background, like uh, that I have in the background here, we want to do is say format page colors and background, and replace it with the background that you want to use. In my case, it's that one. And that takes care of that. So, it's looking good. Now it's just time to change up some text. And we've got ourselves like a squeeze page. So, copy paste away. Next, we want to. replace the text that's already on the page with text more appropriate to your lead magnet and to your uh, to your product. Get rid of all references to the former product and make sure your own are in there as well instead. And this lead magnet is called how to make money with PLR video so that's what we're going to be uh, and turning it instead. Now, one last thing. You'll receive your guide right away. Now that it's all done, I'm going to save it as the index page of the site. Uh, one thing to note is the autoresponder code is not yet existent. We're going to come back once we set up an autoresponder and we're going to insert the email lead capture form. So uh, hold off on that for now. But the squeeze page, aside from that, is done. So now let's get a PLR video profits, site pages. I'm just going to say index. That's the landing page. Okay. So that's that. Now it's, let's click new tab, open up the next page in line, which is a subscriber thank you page. So let's say open and go backwards. It's going to be the confirmation. So let's do it all over again. Format page colors and background change it up with this one yes sir cut that out basically the same things over again Okay, now uh, it's looking good. Just let's fix up the text. Actually, I don't like to look at that, so let's just rewrite the text manually. 
you can receive your free. I'm going to underline the free guide just to put the emphasis on that. And then I continue copying and pasting that text that we want to modify. Okay, and that's about that. That's the confirmation page in a nutshell. We don't need to add any special offers just yet. Actually, there will be. We'll come back to that in a moment. Guess what I'm talking about? Yep, PLR video payday. You got you got their attention. Now it's time to milk it for all it's worth. Introducing PLR video payday. Click here. Now we don't have the HTML link yet, but we're going to come back when we do. So that's the second page, the confirmation page. Let's save it. Let's see that is. That was going to be confirmation.html. Save. Now, one more page to go, and we'll have it wrapped up. And that is the free download page. So, new tab. Let's click open. We're going to use another a modified. We're going to modify a pre-existing download page, which is the the sales page download page. But this note, this is a free download page, which meaning it's for the free lead magnet. So don't get confused about that. Okay, now have the uh, to make Put in a link when we're ready. Uh, please contact me at support. Thank you again for your download. I hope your new course works out great for you. That's my name right there that I'm putting in. Now we're going to make it black.
and once again we're going to drop in that special offer Let's see if we can just copy paste it move that footer as well and that background alright so let's save this as we originally which was free download .html. And it's coming together nicely now. Free download. Alright. So with that just like that, we've generated the first three pages. Uh, links are still inactive, of course, but we're gonna come back in and drop the links later when it's all live. Now I'll see you guys in the next video. But first, the quick rack of up would be if you haven't already done so, get composer and start creating your website's pages. Now, I'll see you in the next video.